We're at the McKenna Beach and Golf Resort. Mr. Phelan Lantini. How's it going? Nine home runs. What do you have to say for yourself? Feeling good. <laughs> 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 haven't had one in a while. You know, I haven't got to feel 100% at the plate, but I, I'm looking forward to coming back from this uh, 10-day hiatus, and right. I feel like I'm going to be uh, doing some big things, so I'm excited. Well, I got to tell you, Mark O'Connor and uh, Mr. Avlasa says, you know, we're going to catch that guy, and now it's a competition between you three guys. It's a friendly competition, but they were here earlier, and I just wanted to kind of let you know. They told me to pass it on. Oh, I, I felt them coming. You know, that's that's <laughs> what you know it's all about. You know, friendly. You know, pushing each other as you know teammates to better the team, and you know, I like I like feeling the heat and. When I come back, the you know, balls are going to be flying. You know, uh, for a while there, you 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 might have been just a little injured. How are you feeling now? Uh, it's coming along. I got a cortisone shot to help you know get the pain out of there. And right. Rest is the best medicine, so this is you know a blessing in disguise for me just to get to take it easy. It felt it felt pretty good the last time I played. Swinging was 100, percent but it's still a little tough to throw. I couldn't really let it go. You know, I love throwing people out, so it's sure. kind of tough to. You know, have to eat it out there, but I'm I'm pretty sure by the time we come back, I should be about 100. percent Are you surprised at the success of this team and how quickly you guys bonded as a team, being an expansion and coming all the way here to Maui? A little bit. You know, I've I've been fortunate to play on some you know pretty good teams. Yeah. It's nice when it, you know independent ball. It's more about winning. It's not always about you know trying to move up. So it's easier for people to bond because they don't feel you know. They don't feel like other people are threats to their career. So here, you know, we can just all be friends and go towards the common goal. And we just have a great group of guys, and, you know, we just have fun together. So I, I'm not, you know, just knowing the guys and how everyone goes about their business, you know, I'm not surprised how well we've done in the field. You know, we just, we all love it, and we all work hard, and it just it shows out there. The bats have been ringing for you guys. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of times there's some some downtime where the, the bats are kind of cold, but it's always been some type of consistency, even when the games that we have lost. Yeah, we I don't know. It's just, you know, we don't have to press the score runs. We we have good at-bats, and, you know, it's really contagious with us. A few guys get a hit, and it just, you know, it starts spreading down the lineup. So, you know, we feel like we can score runs at any time. So we never, even when we're down, there's, there's never that sense of urgency. We just, you know, go out there and do what we know we're capable of doing. The origin of the name, Phelan Lantini. Tell me a little something about that. <laughs> so the first name was my dad's pastor growing, I guess, uh, maybe before my dad was born, but my, my grandmother, she loved the name. It was the pastor's name, and she ended up naming my uh, uncle that name, and that's how I got it from my dad's side. And uh -huh. then, so it's a German, it's actually a German last name, Phelan, and then Lentini's Italian, it's my mom's last name. My mom and dad never married, so... My mom, you know, gave my first name to their side, and I got my mom's last name. You're covering all bases, as they yes. say. Yes, definitely. And you're into writing some music, so uh, tell us how that whole thing started. It just started with a friend of mine in high school in my freshman year. He was in the DJing and records, and he hit the school radio, and we just started, like, kind of, like, kind of freestyling in, in my room. We'd hang out on weekends, and it just evolved into my friend wanted to, he kind of saw it as an opportunity, so he put together a studio. And 2004, we got together and put like a little EP. We 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 paid and pressed up a thousand copies, and we like Great. sold them for five bucks and handed some out just to get our names out there. Sure. And for me, it was more of a hobby because as much as I try and branch off, every my energy always comes back to baseball because it's a lot of work and you know I have still haven't achieved all my goals. So, but for him, he's actually put together a full studio and he finally you know moved it into a, a better area so he can get more you know exposure. And he's actually been working with some big name artists back in. Uh, in uh, Oakland so he's about to do some really big things and you know when I get the time I plan to you know get back into it but you know it's just hard playing ball I just, I just feel like I gotta focus on that. Well you're doing a good job of focusing. Uh, Oakland being hometown? Uh, not for me I live in uh, San Rafael. Gotcha. It's on the other side of the bay it's about 15 minutes north of San Francisco. So. We know they call the Oakland Stroke Tower of Power. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I know about it. And the old Granny Goose Potato Chip Factory out there in the city of Oakland. What do you hope will happen for you after this? Some of the ball players says, you know what, man, I'm doing great. I may or may not get into the big leagues. I may or may not get where. One guy even said, I just want to be happy. What's your feeling? Being For me, it's just about playing the game. I love to play and I love to compete. And... You know, the dream's still there, but I don't base, you know, how I feel on, oh, is anyone looking at me? Because you can't really control that. I'm just trying to get, I feel like I haven't reached my full potential of how good I can be. So until I reach that, you know, there's no reason for me to stop. I'm still getting better. It doesn't matter about how old I am. I know if, if I show what I need to show, I could still get a chance. So sure. 
I'm just trying to get where I want to be. I've had opportunities to go to Italy. I'm actually going to try and get my citizenship, and they have a oh, league nice. there. I'm going to go play there. They actually make a lot more money than here, so sure. it should be fun. Treat like, and then maybe get to play for you know the national team. So that should be nice. Well, as they say, spaghetti napoletano. Uh, <laughs> they don't really say that, but that's one of my favorite dishes. What is one of your favorite dishes? Let's talk about food for a second. Favorite dish. Favorite dish. I love when my mom makes some spaghetti meatballs and throw, throw them in the crock pot overnight. And then it's just, that's my favorite. And then, you know, make it with some, uh, some rigatoni or something like that. And it's just, that's amazing. And then a couple times I go out to New York and my, I stay with my aunt and uncle. And my aunt just, she cooks up a feast. It's amazing. I, Italian's definitely my favorite. Mulberry Street. <laughs> right in New York City. Right there. Yes. <laughs> Catching him. He doesn't know I realize all these things. Favorite drink? Alcoholic or non-alcoholic? Both. Give me both. Uh, I guess, say vodka tonic for alcohol, and then non-alcoholic, I just drink a lot of water. I oh. used to drink a lot of soda, but I realized how dehydrated I am, so I just try and drink water. And favorite dessert? Anything chocolate. Chocolate brownie, hot brownies, cake fresh out of the oven. <laughs> I, I buy cookie dough and make myself cookies all the time, so... <laughs> And the reason we say that, Phelan, is because when the guys come to the game and they want to gift you guys with something, it's the favorite dessert. Yeah. Soft, hot chocolate chip cookies, brownies, chocolate cake. Don't forget. Hey, congratulations. Nine home runs. Uh, you, you hope to hit a couple more, do you feel? Yeah, I, I feel so. I mean, I'm not going to try because it never happens, but, you know, I, I just feel like I'm going to do well. I'm just going to try and hit some balls hard, see some pitches, try and be a good leadoff guy. and. You know, score some runs, help us win games. We'll see you at the playoffs again, brother. All right, thank you. Phelan Lantini, Nicole Ikaika Baseball here, right on the wonderful beaches of McKenna. We'll be right back right after this.